What's up, guys? Today I'm going to talk to you about iCloud and what it does. Uh, basically, it pushes notifications to your other devices like your iPad, your iPod, your iPhone, your Mac, uh, and where they work hand in hand now. In order to get iCloud, you have to have OS X 10.7.2 on your Mac, iOS 5 update on your iPhone or iPad or iPod, and iTunes 10.5 update for iTunes. So to get that, just go to software update. Uh, on your Mac and for iTunes just go to check for updates and then plug your device into iTunes and it will update your device to iOS 5 which has got some cool features once you have done that it'll ask you to register and sign up da, 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 activate your device and then you just go to iCloud.com enter your Apple ID and your user password and it will bring up this screen uh, I'll start with mail, which I don't really use. It will ask you to set up a mail account if you haven't yet. Um, this is kind of pointless just because your mail you can get on all your devices anyway. Um, they make that pretty easy. Uh, contacts is cool. Uh, you can store your contacts in here. You can edit them and it will push it to your phone or whatever. So if you got to change it, say if I want to change Al to Big Al, uh, it will push that to my iPhone so you can update contacts and things like that Let me show you here and now it says Big Al well, what do you do cool but if you lose your phone it's uh, handy to have around and you'll never lose your contacts uh, moving on to calendar uh, once again you can you know set an event on the calendar on one device and it will automatically go to the other device so you don't have to worry about you know which device you made that on if you're going to work with your iPad or you bring your Mac and uh, <clears throat> I'll just change it here change it from this device and then if we go back to the computer and go back in the calendar and you can see it's moved from the 26th now to the 27th so that's that's pretty cool too I suppose um, an another feature that I like probably the best is find my iPhone or find my devices um, because I have had MacBooks and iPhones stolen from me so this will locate your device within range and uh, help you track down that thief who stole it or if you lost it whatever so that's pretty neat too uh, and it does I think work with your iPhone off and then we go on to <coughs> for pages okay uh, basically you got keynote pages and numbers I'm gonna go ahead and download keynote which is kinda like PowerPoint <laughs> so it helps you with like presentations if you want to do a presentation on your iPad and be able to show it on your iPhone or show it on your MacBook or just log in anywhere and show your presentation for that matter um, so if you're on the go a lot and you you know like doing things like that, then uh, it's pretty cool because it will update it uh, to your iCloud. Uh, what you only get free is five gigabytes. So there's additional uh, storage you can buy from Apple uh, if you choose to do that my five gigs has been more than enough for right now because I don't really do all this but there you see if I open it open it up on iCloud and uh, there there it is presentation ready to go so all right another cool thing is uh photo stream uh, you gotta make sure go to your settings and um, look up go to iCloud and make sure that your photo stream is turned on uh, along with anything else you want to share in the cloud and basically this will push photos from one device to another and keep it in something called photo stream and uh, here I'll just show you how I took a pho photo with my iPhone and there it goes it popped into the photo stream and then I just go I'll show you guys I'll go to the Mac 
and open up iPhoto and I'll go into photo stream and there's my photos I've taken from my iPhone and there's that one I just took right there so that's pretty cool um, that that's pretty sweet because you don't gotta I don't know and you can add photos to your albums whatever uh, and you can do it the other way around say if you have you know got a bunch of photos that you've uploaded from a camera or whatever and you want to uh, share it with your other devices just throw that into your photo stream drag that photo into your photo stream and go into your pictures and photo stream under your device and that photo should appear where's that oh there it is and just to let you guys know that is a candle um, and it looks pretty good